I'll swim with the lions in the river, walk with them in the open areas amongst the game. So yeah, I'll, I'll do most things that people would do with their pet dog with, with the lions. Kevin Richardson owns a private reserve near Johannesburg that is home to 38 lions. He's an animal behaviorist who can roll around with males and females alike, even petting the cubs. Instinctively, lionesses are fiercely protective of their cubs. That makes his relationship with the lions even more exceptional. The lions are free to roam around the estate, and Richardson doesn't use food or weapons to coerce them. Still, critics say he's interfering with nature. Well, you know, I think um, we interfered with nature the day we put these animals in enclosures. If we Googled your name right now, what would come up? The lion whisperer would, would come up and there'd be more than likely several pictures of me doing pretty much... <laughs> <laughs> there'd be several pictures of me pretty much doing what I'm doing now. You, do, you, uh, do you see yourself as a lion whisperer? There's a you know, phrase that people coin because of the relationships that I have. The ability to you know, interact with these animals without having to make them submit through fear, then yes. Do you worry that one day they might turn on you? No, I don't worry about lions turning on me because the day that that happens and you start to think about, well, well one day will these lions turn on me, you shouldn't be doing it. I often say, you know, if, if, if they did kill me, I mean, because something like that did happen, you know, God forbid. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. It's not something I think about or worry about. How could you not love that face? How could you not? Eh? And how can you not love those teeth? <laughs> you know, I might, you know, piss one of them off one day and he might take my head off, but so be it.